free speech. We've got a right to exchange views with other people, including people we may disagree with. Yeah. How are you going? So I see you have a picture of Julian Assange down since that says that you're assisting him. Assisting him? Yeah. We're just we're going to be rallying uh, on an off all day. Not only here in Melbourne, but at rallies that are happening across Australia and around the world. He's a man that's exposing the truth. Thanks in part to WikiLeaks, we've seen evidence of the torture that can be inflicted when the US gets a suspect into their custody overseas. Do you understand what's going on here? We're not here to understand. We're going to go into Deep Fat now and we're going to deliver a, a request for action from the government from Christine Assange. We're not here to understand. The Department of Foreign Affairs is ultimately uh, accountable for what is happening to Julian Assange, not just Bob Carr and the entire Australian government. We're not here to understand. And you know, you, you guys are being, you know, we're giving fair warning. It's, it's gonna get messy if he's not protected because I don't know what your personal opinions are. Um, but as a government, we're extremely disappointed in what's going on. So. We're not here to understand. Um, a group within Occupy Melbourne called the First Aid and Care. And um, as the uh, members of that team have, have moved on to other things, we've come together as a separate, almost like an affinity group. And we are providing first aid and care services to all of Melbourne's uh, social justice groups. What, 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 what can you understand? What I don't understand. What can you understand? I don't understand. Excuse what? me, don't bully me. Have become... Do not bully me. Sorry. Oh, yeah, and don't, back up. don't be like a chauvinist pig. Yeah, either. absolutely. We're basically there to help support the activists themselves um, and to keep people on an even keel to, you know, just try and keep things at, a, at, a, at an easy level. So as people may panic, have panic attacks or feel anxiety in part of the crowd, there's somebody there with the skills to help them deal with those feelings. Love and knowledge lead upward towards the heavens, but always pity brings us back to earth. So what is the Department of Foreign Affairs doing for Julian Assange? Well I understand that uh, poncho assistance is, is available for him. Okay, what does that mean? Because that's a really obscure statement. He's one of my heroes, this man. I'm prepared to stand up, go to jail for him, be arrested for this brother. I think it's so important that we do. Woo! I think we need all to stand up. We're being prevented from meeting with DFAT director even though we had an appointment to present Christine Assange's facts and case of her son Julian Assange, award-winning journalist, Sydney Peace Prize winner, being held for over 540 days without charge in the UK. A representative from the 14th floor, Department of DFAT, come down here and take these documents personally. I will not hand these documents over to a private security guard. But they are taking the documents personally. <laughs> Citizens Alliance. I had a meeting with DFAT this afternoon. We're being barred from entering the space. Make sure. If they, if they worked on. Uh, what is it? Um, All right. Uh, just, just who, mate? Uh, just who? How can you defend someone who's uh, been accused of uh, sexual allegations? And I say, well, I know it's a setup. You only have to look at the facts of the case. And actually, I'm disgusted that they're using women in this way to entrap someone like Julian Assange. It's about the truth. Now the truth in this country is like a weapon of mass destruction.